uh, a Kempis, he writes something that almost reminds me of Dante. He says, and so it will be for vices of every kind, each vice having its own particular tormenting spirits. And the nature of these tormenting spirits will correspond to the vice which they punish. Thus, the infernal spirit which punishes pride shall constantly mock and humiliate its victims, whereas the demon which punishes sloth will compel them to undertake incessant, arduous, and unending labor. You know, oh, it's powerful language. Again, it's like that Dante where certain demons are, are tormenting certain vices. What do you have to say about that? Yeah. So, you know, you think, well, uh, a vice is a weakness. It's, uh, it's something which, you know, comes from some fear. And whatever it is which we most fear, Will be um, will be brought to its full fruition in this absolutely horrendous state of hell, if we ever have to face that, and it will be perfectly adapted to repaying what put us there mm. in the most in the most terrible way we can possibly think of. Later in the work, in his next chapter, he really goes through each of the senses. Father, he you know he talks about what you'll see. He talks about what you, you will hear. He goes through these senses, right? What you'll feel. But one of the things that caught my attention in this is what you smell. So, I mean, yeah. what does hell smell like? And, and he, I mean, Kempis just, just, you know, just does an incredible job. Just to, just to read a few lines, disgusting and nauseating odors of decomposition and death together with the acrid stench of sulfur and the perpe will perpetually plague the nose. And then he says, the tormented souls will try to avoid breathing, knowing that to breathe will mean taking in the foul stench and disgusting flavor of the hellish atmosphere. And so he basically says that they'll continually try to stop breathing all the way to the point of suffocation and then try to breathe again. I mean, it's, oh my gosh, I've never heard such a vivid description of hell, oh, and it had to do yeah. with what hell smells like. 